Hey guys, this is Mark Agnesi from Norman's Rare Guitars. Just wanted to show you 16 reasons to come visit us while you're in town uh, for the NAMM show. Starting off with number one here, uh, 1950 Fender Broadcaster. All original number 22, one of the first ones that ever came out of the factory. Uh, this is here for you guys to check out. Also kind of just going down the line here, got a 1958 White Guard. Original finish, original everything, just a little bit of wear on the neck, a little bit of lacquer checking. But overall, a really, really clean, spectacular example guitar. Uh, moving to some strats. Let's see, we got a gorgeous 1957 hardtail. Once again, all original, one of the cleanest maple neck uh, strats that I've seen around here. Just a little bit of wear in the first position, but just other than that, really stunning condition, stunning example. Um, Equally as nice here is a nice 1962 slab board, three color sunburst with the green guard, uh, clay dots. Another one out of Norm's private stash, it just really, really clean strats. Got a lot of other strats that we're not going to show, and there's tons of other stuff, but these are just some of the real clean ones. And uh, for the lefties out there, because we don't want to leave out the lefties, 1958 original left handed maple neck, three color sunburst. Go find another one of these. That's all I can say about that only one I've ever seen lefty from that era and for the bass players out there we've got uh, 1959 custom color precision bass gold guard original hang tags this is about as cool as it gets for the guys that are into precision basses you don't see a lot of them in custom colors and you definitely don't see them minty like this oh more lefty stuff here we've got uh, this is a 1971 Rickenbacker 4001 in maple glow with the, uh, if you want to zoom in, the checkerboard binding. I think this is one of two uh, that were made that year. There's not a lot of these. Paul McCartney's got one of them, and there's a few other ones floating around. And here's one uh, for you right here. Also, from Rickenbacker with the bases, here's another really, really clean example. This is a uh, 1970, somewhere in the 70s. Um, this is a 4005 uh, Rickenbacker hollow body base. Um, this one's stereo, one of the just cleanest, nicest examples of this bass that you'll ever see. It's stunning condition-wise. Uh, moving down, let's get into some acoustic guitars here. This is 1960 Gibson J200N. Uh, this is one that just came into the store, excellent condition, just absolutely gorgeous piece of maple on the back, little stinger on the back of the headstock. Um, this one, along with about eight other J200s, are currently in stock. Uh, here is another gorgeous blonde 1962 Gibson L5 CESN in natural. I think this is one of 17 that was made that year. Double uh, PAFs. This one also has original hang tags in the case. Stunning blonde condition. This one's in Norm's book. Again, stinger on the back of the headstock. Um, here we go. Some Martin acoustics here. This is a 1938. 0042. This is one of the real high-end models with the pearl work, and this is also uh, a little more rare because it's a factory pit guard model. A lot of these didn't ship with pit guards. Uh, this is a little more desirable with the guard. Gorgeous piece of Brazilian rosewood on the back of this one, and uh, this is another one that we just got back into the stock here. This is a 1941 Martin D18. Uh, this thing will almost fly out of your hands. It's so light. It's absolutely featherweight. Condition is stunning. Uh, had recently had a neck set done by Joel Whitehead, our uh, in-store luthier here. Uh, so it's got fresh saddle. Action is nice and low. This is a cannon, absolute <laughs> cannon of a D18. One of the best ones we got around. Uh, we got some more Gibsons down here on the end. Uh, this is a very cool guitar. This is a one of a kind. You'll also see this in Norm's book if yeah. you have Norm's book. Um, this one is right from the mid-30s, around 1934, 1936. This is a special order um, L5, what they call an L5 special. Now, this is also from the 16-inch bout L5s. Uh, but what's really uh, cool about this, this was custom ordered with these custom picture frame inlays, which is kind of what makes this one a one-of-a-kind. 1930s guitar, crack-free, pit guard, original, still in excellent condition. This one's a really spectacular example. Um, here's just a really, really clean 1958 Gibson J50 uh, 80J with the adjustable bridge. It's one of the first of the adjustable bridge, just sparkly clean, nice and shiny, almost as nice as new. This is a really great condition guitar. This is uh, one of my personal favorites right here. This is a 1960 
um, ES335 TD and Sunburst. But what's cool about this one, this one shipped with all 1959 appointments. It's got the long pit guard, um, double PAFs, original frets, guitars all original. One of the best sounding PAF 335s I've ever heard. This one's one of my favorite in the whole store. And then, of course, number 16 reason to come, our favorite, the 1960 Sunburst Les Paul with original hang tag, near mint condition. We're just going to leave that one in the case. Um, to prevent uh, any potential accidents, but that's here as well, along with, as you can see around you, thousands of other guitars. So if you guys are coming in anywhere around the world, Japan, Australia, Germany, Italy, come by. If you're already in LA, stop by and see us at Norm's, and there's plenty of stuff to uh, drool over and look at. So we hope to see you guys all next week. Cheers.